tutorials video, we are in the shower. Uh, and we've got in this shower here, a block drain. Looks gorgeous and great from the top. It's a drain that's got a um, uh, cover on it. And uh, I've just been a little bit shocked as I went down to the, just to a grocery store to um, buy something to run down this. Um, this uh, has a lot of potential to block um, with hair. Because of the cover, you can't actually see what's going on on top. It's just a normal drain underneath it. And I'll show you that. Like that. Um, but as you can see, because you can't see it, it just gets all the feral bits built up in it. Um, but now this one is uh, built up down below as well. I think sometimes the water goes a bit slow through there, but anyway. We are going to add some caustic soda uh, as to how to go about that. There are all sorts of uh, different things you can do, but caustic soda foams up and carries on and it creates heat um, when it mixes with water. So it's really good at cleaning this sort of stuff. Um, and that's what it's going to be like inside the drain all the way down. So the caustic soda was $4 in the supermarket and right next to it was drain cleaner, enzyme, blah, blah, blah. And that was $45 for the same container. So yeah, a bit of marketing going on there. Some base chemicals are often uh, going to solve this problem nicely. So the way to go with the caustic soda, a bit of warm water. Now this is about one cup of um, caustic soda or sodium hydroxide. Uh, I think it's called caustic soda the world over. But the active constituent is, uh, where are we? Right there, sodium hydroxide. And that's what's gonna do it. So about one cup to a liter of water is the mix. And we're gonna pour it straight into the drain. We're gonna leave it 20 or 30 minutes. I'll show you as I add it in. Um, and then it's in a shower. So I'm just gonna turn the hot water tap on and let it have a good old run for a couple of minutes with hot water going down. And uh, hopefully that'll clear it. But as you can see, looking down there, um, it's pretty feral. Having the um, cover on doesn't help with um, seeing that and cleaning it out. Okay, so here we go. Now, any container that you use to mix this up, um, you cannot then use uh, food later. So I've just got a mop bucket here and I'm gonna give it a mix. Don't get it on your hands, it's caustic. Ah, yeah, now that's getting hot. I can feel the heat coming up. That was only just mildly warm. And you can hear that. <coughs> yeah, and the fumes. Okay, so time to tip this in. <coughs> yeah, the fumes. Wear a mask. Don't do what I did. I'm gonna tip some of that onto there but most of it straight down the drain. Wear a mask, it's caustic soda. It's really quite strong. So we're gonna leave that for 20 minutes, come back, <coughs> turn the shower on, and run a great heap of hot water down there, and uh, hopefully, that'll clear that out and block it. You can, of course, um, check mechanically. That drain's actually really hard to get out. It does come out, but you can get a piece of wire and stick it down to see if you can't hook any hair or any other solid matter that's gone down there. But uh, hopefully, we're just gonna do the cheats way. Use a, a whole container of caustic soda, four bucks. It's worth a try. And um, I'll get a brush and clean that up as well. It'll come off really easy now that I've tipped a bit of caustic soda on it. And away we go. It's a normal drain, like a kitchen sink or a basin, if you've got the same situation. Um, if you've got a metal drain plug in there like that, what happens, you pour your caustic soda in, but then you've got to rinse the caustic soda off that metal. You don't want it to corrode it and start it to rust. And also, in a shower, this, is a, uh, this house is on a concrete slab, so there's no way of getting underneath the house, so there's no U-pipe to go and clean or anything like that. Um, different though, in a cupboard, there'll always be a U-pipe. There it is, right there. Two lock nuts, one there, one there. Put a bucket underneath it, undo the lock nuts, and um, pull it out, and then you can clean this um, pipe out and uh, clear any blockages that way. But of course, don't make the mistake that I did once on a kitchen sink. Um, you take the blockage out, and you've got this pipe full of water, and it's like, oh, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? Well, there's the sink, bang, tip it in, like you always do. 
But the problem is uh, that's not connected when you've got the U-pipe off and the water just goes straight out and into your cupboard. So don't do that, what I did, um, but just have a bucket, stick it underneath and tip it all into a bucket and then you get to clean that out. And uh, that's also how you recover um, if anything gets lost. Down in so here we go, we are half an hour later. I'm gonna turn the fan off. I'm going to um, cheat with that dirty cover down there and just look to see what the water's gonna take off. But uh, I'm gonna give it a good old run on uh, just the hot on. And the proof will be in whether or not that um, drain over there floods. Uh, because it has not been able to cope. To start with, we are looking fantastic. All right, I'm gonna give that a run for a minute and uh, see how it goes. Getting nice and hot in there. And uh, you can see here, the water is just rapidly running straight down that drain without any blockage at all. I will give it a bit of a scrub as well to clean up the vents there. But uh, as you can see, well this, you just turn it on and 10, 20 seconds later, uh, that drain wasn't taking all the water, less water than that, and it was filling up. So we have resolved this issue. Um, the caustic sodas cleaned away the blockage and letting the water run again. Good job, hope it works for you as well. If you've got metal pipes, um, then you'll have to be very careful about what you're doing with your metal pipes. Um, but I've got all plastic pipes here, um, so I know that's gonna resolve it and not be a problem. Okay, so there we go. The caustic soda's done the trick. I um, just put that down under the shower head. That was a bit feral, didn't really want to touch it and scrub it, and it all just came off just from the hot water falling on it, so that's all rinsed away, looking beautiful. And the same with the drain. It's come up nice and clean, uh, looking the part. So the caustic soda's done a wonderful job. It's cleared the drain, it's cleaned all the muck, and it would have done that all the way through. What it's done there, um, cleaned up the pipes, so beautiful. Problem solved for $4. So just have a look at the uh, link in the description and I'll put a link for where you can buy some caustic soda.